from U.S. Cutter. Uh, I'm actually here today to talk about uh, rolling your, your material in and out and making sure you can actually cut long enough. Um, oftentimes people have issues with lining the, their material properly. One of the best methods actually is to, to use tape and to mark tape on both sides of your vinyl where you want it to go. That way you know it's actually going to be in there properly. Uh, another method that a lot of people uh, yeah, tend to use is the, most, the most measuring tape on the vinyl cutter. You know, Although it's got it on the front and back, um, it, it may be off by one thirty-second of an inch, if that. So it's, it's one thing to keep in mind. Um, with this vinyl cutter in particular, this is the Titan II, or, or at least the, the, the beta model. That's why it doesn't look as pretty as the other ones. Um, what I'm going to show you is what a lot of people end up doing and, and mistaking here is they, they'll put their material in and, and they'll put it at a slight angle and although it looks just about straight right now, watch what happens when I actually roll the material. You can see here it changes quite a bit. It looked straight, but it's not. Um, one of the easiest ways to identify this is very early on if you just move it a foot you can tell instantly whether or not the game's changed. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to line this up the best I can with both sides of the tape. And keep in mind, uh, I'm no pro, but uh, I, I will do my best to make sure this is as straight as possible. I'm leaving just a tiny bit of space there. Let's go ahead and give that a try and see how that comes out. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn close. And uh, what what we're going to do here is I'm going to, because it, get, it shifted out that way a little bit, I'm actually going to torque it just a little bit to the side. And it doesn't take much at all. It's actually a very minute change here. And notice I held my hand on the material, never took it off. That's just to make sure that you get the most accurate turn. As you can see, it's it is spot on so we're just gonna keep rolling it this is 18 feet once you get it right it'll stay it's good but uh, getting it straight is just about the hardest thing but tape method tends to work very very well um, the longer the, the one thing you have to make sure that you do though is completely perpendicular if it's not you're, you're setting yourself up for failure from the start so you use a straight edge ruler or, or something to actually or a square T ruler or whatnot to actually set that up initially. But uh, that concludes this tutorial for making sure that you align your material properly.